the editor of British Vogue has hit out at racist criticism aimed at Meghan Markle after she guest edited an issue of the magazine in September. Edward Deninflin the Duchess of Sussex collaborated on a special Forces for Change edition featuring a grid of 15 incredible women on the cover with articles commissioned by Meghan inside. Meghan faced criticism for not including the Queen and supposedly being too political, left-wing and divisive with her choices of women. Among those on the front page were climate activist Greta Thunberg, Laverne Cox, a transgender woman described as an Lgbtkia plus advocate, actor and producer, Labour Prime Minister of New Zealand Jacinda Ardern and diversity advocate and lecturer Sinead Burke. Mr. Enninfold, who was made British Vogue editor in 2017, told The Guardian, was the criticism racist? Some of it, yeah. Actually it was more than racism, Mr. Enning flatted. I thought it was personal, attacking someone you don't know, attacking her. Meghan said she hoped readers would feel inspired by the issue. The cover featured the 15 women with a 16th square resembling a mirror, representing the reader. Mr. Anningful was appointed after British Vogue, taking over from Alexandra Shulman, after the publication was criticized for a lack of diversity. Following the announcement, Naomi Campbell said she was looking forward to inclusive and diverse staff under Mr. Anningful. Mr. Anningful said that the controversy over the edition was not something he had seen coming. He said, I was so engrossed in these women, and in the magazine. We were not trying to create an issue that was shocking, we were shining a light on incredible women, some who are not famous at all. The lineup of women included celebrities, politicians and activists known for championing issues such as diversity, body positivity, transgender rights and climate change. But the Duchess was slammed by critics for failing to include the Queen in the magazine and for ignoring nurses, doctors, lawyers and teachers on the cover. Brexit party Mep Hanwy de Combe told The Sun, Royals have not only got to keep out of politics but they have got to be seen to keep out of politics. Critics also hit out at Meghan for involving herself in politics and considering herself more of an A-lister than a member of the royal family. Ingrid Seward of Majesty magazine told The Sun, The Duchess of Sussex has done a huge favor for the House of Condé Nast and rather less for the House of Windsor. The Duchess, a former actress and avowed feminist, had initially been asked to appear on the cover herself. But Vogue's editor-in-chief Edward Enningful said Meghan refused as she thought it would appear too boastful. Royal commentator Rob Jobson told Sky News Meghan's cover was right on and ticks all the boxes, but warned against getting involved in politics by asking the New Zealand Prime Minister to take part. In a video posted to the Sussex's Instagram page, a visibly pregnant Meghan appeared alongside Enninful as they put the finishing touches to the magazine. The post says the Duchess spent the last seven months creating an issue of inclusivity and inspiration, focusing on what connects us rather than what divides us. She said she wanted to focus on the women she admires from the front line of fashion, film, tech and wellness. Meghan also selected content for the issue which, according to Mr. Enninful, shows she is willing to wade into issues of female empowerment, mental health, race or privilege. 